and welcome to MMICC 2013 Presentation Day. My name is Juliana Oval and I'm the VP Internal for this year's MMICC 2013. Um, before we begin, I ask that you put all of your uh, electronic devices and cell phones on silent. So the presentation today will be a 20 minute presentation and 10 minute question and answer period. Um, the timer today will be Lorena and she'll be informing everyone of when there are 15, 10, 5, 2, and 1 minutes remaining in the presentation. She will also inform the judges and participants when the question and answer period is ended. Um, judging in the Rio Tinto room is Masmo in, in, sorry, uh, Imelo from Deloitte, um, Jérôme Marquis from Caisse de Depot et du Placement de Québec, Miro Yagi from Gildan, uh, Gordon uh, McPhee from a sophomore development company yet to be named, and Marie Lapointe from Rio Tinto. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming the University of Bayonne. Lightning Company is a successful example of a small company lightening the way of a million people in the last two decades. And now it is time for us to lighten the way for this company. We will do that in three steps, actually two steps <laughs> first of all. So in a short term, we will gain additional 16.8 million US dollars in order to strengthen our position. And then in the long term, by 2020, we will differentiate our portfolio, enter new markets, and uh, therefore uh, reach additional 10% of market share, share in solar energy market. So we will do this through our three main steps, the so sourcing challenge, then LED challenge, and finally, solar challenge. And we will follow the steps of our key benchmarks, Samsung, Philips, and Nokia. And by our solution, we will solve three main issues. First one is managing current sourcing base. The second one is strengthening our position on existing markets such as US and Canada. And finally, diversifying our portfolio in order to lower our risk in the long term. Dear ladies and gentlemen, respected jury, I have this honor to present you my team, Maya, Anna, Milan, and myself, Anna, and to thank you all for coming here and listening to our solution. So I will first start with the analysis point. We identified three key success factors that we should follow in order to understand the lightning industry. First one is electricity consumption that is rising in the US and Canada. Second one is rising efficiency of government regulations. There is also increasing the demand for our products. And finally, we have GDP growth. Let's see the global lightning market. It is estimated that it will grow in a growth rate of 5 and 3% until 2020. Looking at our competition analysis, we concluded that they all have diversified portfolio and looking at the portfolio of the industry, we can see that LED bulbs will rise tremendously in the next period. And also LED bulbs will uh, have lower payback period for the consumers and this will increase the demand for these products. Looking at the specific segment of this product, we concluded the residential, office and outdoor segment are the most profitable ones. And having all this in mind, we will introduce you with our solution. Now, let's briefly look at the current financial situation of our uh, company. So currently, in 2013, we have 23 million of revenues. And by 2015, we want to increase it for at least 7 million US dollars. On the other hand, we only have disposable 3.2 million in earnings because we do not want to enter any new debts. And now the question is how to use these 3.2 million US dollars in order to reach an additional revenue in the future. And now it is the time to sum up everything <coughs> that Anna has mentioned before in our analysis. So we have identified our main stakeholders, our issues and objectives. Manufacturers as a really important stakeholder we would like to address them uh, by uh, managing existing su 
supply base. We will do that by securing production volume. And by doing that, we will have effect of MP MPV of 18.6 million US dollars. Furthermore, we would like to approach to the B segment. And we have opportunity to do that by expanding more on US and Canadian market. By doing that, and by capturing rising demand on US and Canadian market, we will have MPV of 9.7 US million dollars. Also, we wanted to uh, diversify our portfolio. Why? Because it is rising competition in the market. Also, there are constant innovations and changes in technology. So, it is important to diversify our portfolio and we decided to enter a solar energy market. And our goal is to gain 10% of solar energy market share in four years. So, it is time to present you our solution, Lightning the Way. And how we plan to lighten your way in the, next, in the future and only by following these three steps. First step is sourcing challenge. Second step is LED challenge. And the last one is solar challenge. And this, it is important to emphasize that these first two steps are profit incubator for the third one. Now let's look at some current situation. We have international sourcing, basically they're all from China, 95% of it. And looking to our supply chain, we can see and we identified some problem in manufacturing segment. And why is that? Because Chinese manufacturers would like to go and sell directly without us. And also, we don't have secure production volume. And we decided that we have to change something here in this segment. And we will do that by making cooperation joint venture with some manufacturer company from China. How we are planning to do that? You can see here that we identified Shanghai as a, most, uh, as a uh, potential for us economic center in China that is expanding. And also we found company Xiang in China that we want to cooperate with. This company has average sales volume about 32 uh, US million dollars. Uh, annually, sorry for the mistake on the slide. And also, uh, our investment in that project will, will be $2.25 million and share in that company 40%. So, this being done, what we have seen, what we uh, achieved. We achieved to have the manufacturer there as our partner in joint venture and also we will have our employee there, not third party agent anymore. So, our employee will have opportunity to monitor all the process and to be more involved in it, so we have more control there. And you can see that our step here, sourcing challenge, has many benefits for both sides. Firstly, for our company, it's important that we will have secured uh, production volume. Also, we will reduce risk and we will have flexibility for market changes that are constant. And also, for the manufacturers, they will have opportunity to plan their production in advance because they will have guaranteed uh, production. And also, they will have possibility to use our knowledge of knowing well US and Canadian market and they wouldn't be able to, to do that by themselves. So, here in next slide, you can see uh, best practice of um, this same uh, operation. Samsung company went to China and made cooperative uh, joint venture with some Chinese manufacturer with great success. We have also prepared some other benchmarks for your consideration. And now, after we succeeded in having a secure volume of production, we will go to our next step, that is LED challenge. What it is about? Well, in analysis part, we said that LED uh, segment uh, is rising. It is tremendously in rise. So we want to capture that segment. But how we will do that? Well, uh, we did a little analysis. So we, we uh, on this slide, you can see that the prices in LED products are decreasing tremendously. And basically, that is because government is aggressively implementing the reforms of efficiency uh, products or efficiency lightning products. So because of that there will be increasing demand. That increase will lead towards lowering the prices of LED products, 
but these facts will not be applicable to all the segments in which we can apply our products. Secondly, we uh, identify that there will be increase in adoption of efficiency lightning products. As I already mentioned, that is mainly because of the government reforms, and these reforms are focusing on uh, Canada. They already applied this reform in 2013, and USA will apply it in 2014. So we will focus on these two markets. And uh, in the end, what is the most important is that, that we identify major segments where we can profitably uh, apply our LED uh, bulbs. So that is office segment. And within this office segment, we will be focusing on smart control lightning systems. These systems are rising tremendously. They have rise of 36%. So now, if we implement and if we apply our products in this particular segment, we will, we will, uh, we will reach economy of scale. But before, uh, before I present to you our strategy, we will need to rely on successful benchmark, and that's the joint venture of Philips and Cisco. What it did is that they joined their forces in order to make production of a smart lightning control system. Their focus was on buildings, then they made deal with government in order to go into outdoor lightning, and finally their goal is to make smart lightning system. What was the result? Is the increase in production of 51%. But what we suggest for you to do in short term is to make and to approach to these startups, uh, which you can see on the right side, and they're, um, they're uh, making currently smart... The thing is that we already mentioned is that residential segment of the general lighting market has the highest growth potential in the years to come. So we are planning, uh, bearing all this in mind, to make a solution, to make the solar package solution. But what it consists of? Well, in the first place, there are solar panels that, that will be put on the rooftops of the household, and they will provide alternative source of energy for the, for the households. Second part of the package is the already existing LED bulbs that will even further decrease the energy consumption, consumption of households. On the third place, following the steps of our benchmark, it is Nokero, we will build a third product that is called solar bulb. Basically, it's an LED bulb with a source solar panel on it. So with this solution, we will think locally, but act globally, because we need to know that we are currently in the era where ecology is very important. Now, which markets should we enter? Having in mind that, you as, that we are gaining 95% uh, of our profit from US market, we analyzed these four states, and uh, considering these four criteria, concluded that California is the best place to enter. Uh, another uh, thing that led us to that conclusion is that we already have a partner in that segment and that is state-owned Pacific Gas and Electricity Corporation. So, uh, based in San Francisco. So San Francisco will be the starting point for our new solution and we will later spread all over the US market and of course Canadian or some other markets. Now, another advantage is San Francisco's proximity to China and India. While mentioning China and India, let's go briefly to our supply chain. When we are talking about solar panels, they are produced within Indo Solar Corporation in India that we have 33% of shares in. Then they'll send those products to us, later we'll distribute it to our partners, that will later build in into residential places, residential houses. When we are talking about LED bulbs, we are producing them in newly established joint venture in China. There, and the rest of the supply chain is basically the same as solar panels. And the last, solar bulbs will be also produced in Indo Solar in India, and we will give opportunity to our consumers to buy this product online. So, we are basically just repeat, are selling all our products online and through our partnerships. Now, let's go through our implementation. So, from the company's side, first thing to do is to R&D processes in order to develop solar bulbs and the solar panels. Then we will order those products from our manufacturers, distribute them later to our partners, and in the end, we will develop an online store with new products and new options. And we can discuss about that later in the question period. With the manufacturer's side, they're receiving our orders, producing, packaging, ship them to us, 
and from the distributor side, we will receive, they will receive those products, gather the offers, building them, and later maintain them. Customers will be able, as I said, to shop our products online. The great thing is that we will establish 10% market share in first four years. And this strategy will actually have benefits for all sides, for manufacturers, distributed partners, customers. They will reduce their bills, their savings. They will increase their savings and will have mitigation of power blackouts. But the green light cooperation will benefit the most because they'll have their product development, they will benefit from the economy of scope, they will have higher profits and will share know-how and learn some new things. So now more about our financial we told by the that was the uh, detailed implementation of our solution, but now let's see the financial implication. On the slide you can see the sensitivity analysis for a discounted cash flow for each of our steps. But I would like to emphasize the revenue and the cost drivers for each of them. So for the sourcing challenge, on the one hand we have economy of scale and 55% of increase in the sale by joint venture. On the other hand, we have investments of 2.25 million US dollars and some additional uh, working capital. And the result will be net present value of 18.6 million US dollars. Let's move to the solar challenge. And this will, the, on the revenue side, we have achieved economy of scale. We have new partnerships and we have new product in our portfolio, new innovative portfolio. And we'll also have some investment in the research and development segment. And the result will be the net present value of 35.6 million US dollars. And for our third strategy, the LED challenge will have on the revenue side new partnerships with B segment. And through these business partnerships, we will enter new segments of the market, and those are smart lightning systems. And this will lead us to the net present value of 9.7 million. So just to summarize everything up, from the whole solution, we will gain net present value of 63.9 million dollars in the next 10 years. And now let's go briefly through our timeline. So for the first uh, step, we need to go through process of preparation, negotiation, signing agreement, and finally we need to monitor the whole process. In the second step, what we want to emphasize here is that in 2013, we will be focusing on Canada. And in 2014, we will be focusing on USA market because of these government reforms and because of their implementation time. In our third step, what we want to, uh, to stress out here is that we need to again go through the process of preparation, negotiation. We need to invest in R&D, then to make production and finally to monitor everything. And let's sum up everything. As we said in the beginning, we want to lighten your way in the future to help you to be more profitable. So by implementing our reasonable solutions, by 2015, you will gain additional revenue of 16.8 million US dollars. By the end of 2020, you will gain 10% of solar market share. And how will you do that? Well, by, uh, by our three steps. First one is sourcing challenge. We want to secure our production from China. Secondly, we will implement our LED strategy, meaning that we will make partnership with, uh, with some startups which are already pr producing smart controlling systems. And finally, we will implement our innovation and that is our solar, solar challenge. But in order to implement these steps successfully, we will rely on some benchmarks and those are Samsung, Philip and Cisco joint venture, and Nokia. And finally, with implementation of all these steps, we will resolve these problems. And those, those are that we do not have existing supply base currently. We want to expand our presence in our current markets, and those are US and Canada. And finally, we will diversify from our competitors with implementation of our solar products. So now, thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, we will be glad to answer. mentioned for the LED bulbs, you're going to go with the joint venture with uh, Zijang Lambo Technology. So this company, they have a huge research and development capabilities, manufacturing capabilities. They probably 
sell, manufacture and sell over 150 million, 200, 200 million uh, bulk per year. So you're going to give them $2.25 million in the exchange of what? What is the benefit for them to tell you, give me the $2.5 million, $2.25 million, in the exchange of what? And the other possibility, and the other side of the equation, why would you want to dump $2.25 million in the drain? What, how many bulbs per year are you going to sell for them? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, I just want to clarify, uh, you mean uh, uh, regarding a joint venture with Chinese manufacturer. Okay, uh, we thought a lot about this and we decided that 2.25 million would not be a so high investment in our case because we really have a problem. Chinese manufacturers want to go and uh, sell directly. So we do not have secure production. In the other hand, they do not uh, have a possibility to go somewhere else and to uh, make export by themselves to US and Canada. And we have 10% of um, import in, uh, percent of import in US. So it is great opportunity for them to go into their market with us, with our help. And uh, we look also after some uh, best practice examples uh, doing uh, joint ventures in China. And it was uh, basically the number uh, that uh, companies used for investment in small companies in China because I said that this uh, company, manufacturer, manufacturing company in China has 32 uh, million US dollars sales annually. So they have similar sales as we have. But well, it's not clear to me, you're going to give them 2.25 million in the exchange of what? Are you buying shares in their company? Yeah. Uh, well, we, who, who would, who would want to uh, let anyone buy shares in their company if they're 100 times bigger than you? Why would they need you? They can develop the market, they can put salespeople on the ground in the US, they can go to your competition and tell them, well, look, we don't want to pay you any, we, don't, we want 4 million from you and uh, you know, we want you to channel our products. So I don't understand, I don't see the point. Okay, uh, but we, we thought that firstly, we need to go on smaller companies, as we mentioned, the one Zingo uh, is the name, and we have also alternatives, so if the first one wouldn't be um, uh, thrilled, let's say, to go into cooperation with us, we would definitely try uh, to do that with other companies because, because there is about 90 companies in China doing uh, manufacturing manufacturing bulbs. So we will be pos uh, po it will be possible to find some other company that will be that we want uh, cooperation with us. Okay, thank you. But just a quick one: what is your top line in terms of how many bulbs you can sell per year for these companies? Uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, what do you, what are you forecast? Uh, well, we're forecasting the increase of 55% in sales <coughs> in the, uh, this joint venture. And uh, as we all only had the data from 2007, and that is spending, uh, that is actually distributing 30 million bulbs in the US market, we suppose that then the production will go maybe with the growth from 2007 with 55% of increase, maybe to 60 million of bulbs. Thank you. Could you uh, have you considered any uh, uh, diversification in the emerging country? You mentioned about the solar, the, the solar bulbs. So that that's a new product. Does that exist anywhere, or you want to be yeah. the first in the market? So it actually exists. As we said, we follow the steps of our benchmark, and it's called no Kero. So no Kero stands for no kerosene. So they're actually trying to make the bulbs to, to change those kerosene lamps. And they already built, there are the pictures, like uh, the bulbs with the solar panels in it. We will, because we are only actually a uh, uh, company uh, in this segment that has actually the part with designers. So we'll probably make some better looking product and better package. And uh, so this thing, like the benchmark, it's great. It can be used like outdoors and camping. And, Ports and sitting in your yard, just they have like small solar panel on it, collecting the sun throughout the day, and then uh, they're actually giving the source of light to the LED bulbs, LED bulbs in the night. And they're really affordable, environmentally friendly, and actually they're low cost. We have the calculation if, if you want to show you uh, like the cost and everything. 
but it exists. Nokia company already built. But do they have a patent on it? Uh, no. What makes you think? I, th okay. I think uh, no, because uh, you don't have a patent on the product. Yeah, this is really a new product. Uh, well, what if you have a patent pending? Actually, we don't have that on slide, but we did a case for them. Okay. And we know that they still don't uh, have the patent for it. So you want to steal the technology? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. There is also yeah. some other companies uh, doing that. For example, Solar Bulb Company, but it's focusing on social entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And they are going into Africa and Asia in poor parts of countries to sell to people who live uh, as, uh, with uh, $1 per day, day. So they are already doing that. So it would be a great possibility for us to go on our market with new uh, and uh, really efficient product. And another thing just to add, sorry, I'll be short, that they're working like, they don't sell their product directly, but they're looking for distributors. So if we somehow won't be able to reproduce the product, we can actually distribute them, uh, their product. So there's another option. Can I ask you about um, so your online strategy? Uh, how are you going to protect your partners? Talk about some of the partnerships in online. What, what are you going to do exactly online? Well, actually, uh, there's already existing online store on our website that's already developed, and we just want, as I said, to add this new product, the solar bulb. That, uh, so we will make it available to our consumers. And the thing I said is that we will actually uh, make some actions in order to improve our online service to attract more customers, and that is like small application. And it says to them how, uh, what their savings are if they buy LED bulbs of CFL. And, of course, following the steps of our hydro product benchmark, we will actually make uh, this like table, small application. They can enter how many bulbs they exchange within their households, like uh, indoor or outdoor. And then it calculates the savings after 10,000 hours. It's like about one year. So it's your online strategy is primarily informational. Actually, we don't have like a separate online strategy, just we are adding those things to the existing strategies. We have time for one more question. 